Shades of Grey Tattoo Studios is a women-owned and operated tattoo shop in Sparks, Nevada, which took on new ownership by Veronica or V. Teixeira in 2018. She shares that people generally feel anxious upon entering a tattoo shop, so she's included a plant and tea room to help clients feel more at ease. It's important to me that people feel comfortable here. Um, usually my mom's here and when on our busy days she offers coffee, you know, we have tea. Building on this sense of community, Nancy Dixon explains that tattooing can be an outlet of support for people who struggle with their mental health. Clients who do struggle with self-harm, they like to get tattoos in the areas that they feel compelled to self-harm and that way they're less likely to hurt themselves because they don't want to ruin, you know, they invested money into this and time and effort into like coming up with a design and it's beautiful and so they don't want to ruin it. And so it almost like kind of helps them, you know, practice self-control in those moments. And then in addition to that, the controlled pain um, in like a clean, safe and comfortable environment to be able to feel pain for some people is a release. Not only does Shades of Grey build a community within the shop, but they also focus on outreach, partnering with local organizations like the Eddie House. We've done an art class with um, them and we plan on doing more. We've done some donations. Um, she put together uh, a bunch of bags full of like toothbrushes, deodorant, beanies, all kinds of like essential items and donated that uh, to the Eddie House. The artists are given freedom to personalize their workspace to make the atmosphere feel more like their own. I'm currently working on a mural in my space right now, so I have like a goddess mural um, that's still a work in progress. On an individual level, tattoos offer a tapestry of one's own identity or history. Seeing all these rebellious people covered in artwork or even like learning about the history of tattooing, I always thought it was the coolest thing how people will mark their bodies with permanent reminders of something that's important to them, you know? I got to do a World War II veteran's second tattoo. Um, my mentor did his first one for him and it was, you know, <clears throat> a dedication to the years that he spent in Vietnam. So just being able to sit down and talk to him and like hear about the things that he experienced and lived through was like the coolest thing. But all of the people that like walk through our doors, it's crazy how many different lives people get to live, you know? <laughs> Reporting for Our Town Reno, this is Kathleen Leslie.